Good afternoon. I'm going to spend the next six minutes talking about the importance of questions and of being critical. Young children question everything. They're natural critical thinkers. I heard a story once of a three-year-old child in playgroup who refused to draw Father Christmas. He insisted on a picture of a snowman or a reindeer. He liked Santa Claus as much as most kids do, but he was curious and critical. He didn't understand why every child had to draw the same picture. Had Santa insisted on it? Would he be on Santa's naughty list? Apparently not. That child was me, and I still got presents that year. But my parents were called in, and the teacher explained my uncooperative attitude. My mum was delighted. She told me to get in trouble more often. <laughs> Typically, we encourage young children to ask questions, so any parent knows they don't need much encouragement. Taking an interest becomes part of the learning process, and parents try to satisfy curiosity. But move on 10 years, and everything starts to change. Imagine a classroom filled with wooden tables, row after row. Near the back sits a 13-year-old girl. We'll call her Olivia. Olivia asks her teacher why she'll ever need to know what she's learning in that lesson. Maybe it's English literature, or physics, or history. She may be told that's not the point. She may be told that by asking that question, she's not engaging, not taking an interest in her own education. Olivia may not get the best grades in that class, but I think she might be further in her education than any other child in that classroom, if we use education to represent the cognitive goals we should have for young people. At an early stage in school life, I think we educate children out of asking questions. We teach them it's more important to be quiet and be in line than to be critical. There's something Victorian about it. Many of our attitudes to children have changed over the last century, but we still seem to make up for the questions they ask in early childhood by silencing them by secondary school. To me, Olivia isn't a lost cause. She's a survivor. Once upon a time, when I was in playgroup, she might have stood up for me. She might have drawn a reindeer too. I was always one of those lucky children who really enjoyed school. It was as if education was designed for me. On top of making friends, there was never a subject I didn't like, and I got on well with teachers because of it. Teachers want their students to succeed, and in school, success, above all, is measured by exam results. Economics, says Stephen Levitt, is the study of incentives, and we give schools every incentive to teach to saturation what our exams ask for. I think the most important thing we have to realize if we want an education revolution is that it has to come about by changing the way we assess young people. But why are questions important? And who are they important to? I think what they give children is an ability to be comfortable with being critical. Critical thinking means questioning assumptions and reasoning and being able to draw conclusions for yourself. I think the goal of education, ultimately, is independence. You teach someone something, so you don't have to do it for them. If children are equipped to be critical, you don't have to think for them. In university, students are required to be independent and to take charge of their own education. And critical skills are important to business, too. According to one YouGov survey, only 25% of employers think young people come out of, further, uh, out of formal education with good critical and analytical skills. 25%. 26% of young people in work think the, the skill that they most wish they developed at school was critical thinking. If we want to reduce youth unemployment, I don't think we need more knowledge. We need critical skill sets. Asking questions is important for society, too. I speak from a background of youth politics. Being critical is in my nature. We don't want a generation that isn't readily critical, that's led by others not because they are right, but because they are loud. Every great social movement, from that of Martin Luther King to that of Emmeline Pankhurst, was about being critical of authority 
and others' ways of seeing the world. In science and technology, every great step, every great leap, is a result of one person or a group of people asking questions of accepted models and ideas or having the tenacity to test the limits of the achievable. Questions are important. So encourage a child, whatever age, to ask them. And my pledge will be to do the same. Tolerate their willingness to think critically. Engage them. If you can, answer them. Thank you.